Let's keep this going, Abigail. You all came, highly recommended. You know the rules. No real names, no backstories. Gus, Gus, Gustavo, Gus Frank. Um, that's the guy right there. That's um, what's his name? Giancarlo Esposito. Yeah, Giancarlo Esposito. Esposito, however you say it. Um, most famous for playing, you know, Gus Frank from Breaking Bad across Walter White and just this absolutely iconic iconic role and every time you see him you just can't help but see uh gus fring he's certainly had a lot of work a lot more work come his way over the years from video games to like big films and like i think he's a top tier character actor as well and i think anytime i see him i'm probably gonna want to check out what he's in no cell phones so whose kid is she a very wealthy man who's is about that, to um hold up oh shit now, I haven't seen you for, but I'm like aware just from pop culture and whatnot of Euphoria and like kind of some of the actors. Yeah. Angus Cloud from Euphoria. Didn't he? Well, he did. He did pass away from suicide recently. It was big news, devastating news. Um, and like just when he was kind of like. His star was definitely becoming something. And like raising up obviously because of his role in euphoria and like he was becoming like this next step and possibly his career and like being more of a household name and like he was showing up more and like magazine covers and blogs and everything and like people really started to like tune into who he was as an actor and like he seemed like he had a bright future ahead of him but unfortunately he died by suicide so i'm curious if this is like probably one of his last projects that he ever filmed on that's kind of wild it's kind of wild Forgot. Very wealthy man who's about to be $50 million poorer. I'm here to make sure you're safe. What's your name? Mine's Abigail. You can call me Joey. Do you have any kids? I have a little boy. See you in 24 hours. Do you know what a pinky promise is? If you behave and do as we say, I pinky promise you, it'll all be over soon. Joey? Yeah? I'm sorry about what's gonna happen to you. What the yes. fuck? Shit, we gotta get out of here. I think she knows something. Guys? Guys? All right, did not see that coming. Uh, what is she like a vampire? It's got to be like a vampire or some shit because they close the windows and like, yo, I did not see that coming. What the fuck is that thing? We kidnapped a fucking vampire. <laughs> a ballerina vampire. <laughs> okay, how do we kill a vampire? What are we talking about? Like an Anne Rice or a True Blood? You know, Twilight? <sighs> Stake through the heart. Daylight is a big one. All right, let's go kill us a fucking vampire. Ready? Vampire on my What's his name? Oh God, he's so good in that uh, show Legion. They got a solid cast there. I will say that they definitely have a solid cast. Some 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 good sized names, some good actors. Him, he was Legion. Oh, what was his name? He was fucking great in that show. <laughs> I fucking hate 
ballet. All right. All right. Expectations were very low just based on title alone. It seemed kind of lazy, seemed kind of like whatever. Um, started out a little bit shaky. Wasn't sure where we were going with that. But when it, like, shit started to hit the fan, it pulled me in. Like, vampire stories, vampire movies are very well played out at this point in time of, like, cinema. Like, there's been so many different iterations and variations. Even last week, you just had Renfield with uh, Nicolas Cage. Like, we tried vampires in almost each and every way, shape, form or fashion but somehow this one is still refreshing and seems pretty new along those lines in this genre and seems to be approaching it from like a very different unique kind of perspective with a very solid cast i'm not gonna lie like a very solid cast of characters and actors and there could be something really here and i might actually just want to check that one out <laughs>